I would like on that thing behalf of the committee. We'd like to share some of that responsibility with you. Uh, oh, I none, none of it. You were you were mentioning in your introductory remarks. <coughs> you want to move it forward, and uh, you you've read our comments and, and body language. Uh, we don't. I don't want to. And I'm going to ask you not to, to even have that vote out of respect for you. We don't want to vote against someone that's worked as hard and is 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 uh, respected as you are. I'm going to ask you for. Uh, the opportunity for some of us to go talk, I mean, to the leadership and express our concerns. We had a 31 to nothing vote coming out of this body after a well worked bill. Yes, Let me suggest to you what I would go with you to tell the leadership you don't ask people to do something that hurts them. You don't ask members to vote for something that would get them beat in a coastal district. And this bill will get you beat in a coastal district. And those rural members who are not from coastal districts share that concern. The only thing analogous to this is whoever drafted this and tries to attempt to restrict policyholders' rights is when you have a bad management, you create unions. People organize against bad management. You had a broken TWIA They had bad response. They had abusive response. So instead of trying to fix that, now they just want to legislate and restrict people's rights to stand up against those abuses if they need an attorney, for instance. Someone needs to recognize that TWIA has reformed. It is better today than it was during the last storm. In fact, someone has shown me the numbers recently of a South Texas storm did not result in lawsuits because they've gotten the message over there. It's clean house. But back to what we've got to do this morning, I would like to share that responsibility with you and ask my colleagues to go and let the leadership know that we're not going to allow our districts to not be represented. And in fact, someone, someone other than you ought to have to put their name on this and take full credit for the harm they would be doing to Gulf Coast policyholders. So I'm going to ask you not to have a vote this morning for the opportunity to, and if, they, and, and, and if, if the concern is that they'll take this bill and put it in another committee, I would hope the 31 senators would recognize that and stand up against that practice, because if you start doing that here, there'll be no end to it. We've changed a number of significant rules and traditions, and, and if you now want to change the makeup of a committee because you can't get a affirmative vote or you want to refer it to another committee, I would like to think a Senate caucus would address that and stand up against that practice. So we do respect you. I know you do. And uh, let's go forward. We still have time in this session. This is a serious matter, but I'm not going to. What I would urge. I'm you not. I'm not going to stand here and allow that someone to bully us with a bill that was drafted as late as Friday on Monday morning. Bullying. We passed the law against bullying this session, and we might as well start and we might practice in it right now. What I would urge.